On December 12, 2022, Azerbaijan blocked the only remaining road in and out of Artsakh, effectively cutting off the 120,000 Armenians in this region from the rest of the world. As of today, the road is still blocked for all traffic with the exception of emergency evacuations organized by the Red Cross and Russian forces in control of the region. Essential supplies like food and medication are running dangerously low and the region is undergoing a humanitarian crisis. That's right, is undergoing. Azerbaijan claims that it is environmental protesters who are blocking the road. However, this claim has come under scrutiny given that a. Azerbaijan has no freedom of assembly, meaning protests in the country are violently suppressed, and b. Azerbaijanis have little to no record of eco-activism, which makes sense for a country where fossil fuels make up 86% of exports. The Lemkin Institute has already issued two red flags describing the blockade as a criminal act and saying the genocidal intent of Baku has never been clearer. Similar statements were put out by Human Rights Watch, Genocide Watch, Freedom House, World Medical Association and Aurora Humanitarian Initiative. Legally, the road is supposed to be under the control of the Russian forces, who on paper are allies of both Armenia and Azerbaijan, but in actuality have been colluding with Azerbaijan to sell their sanctioned oil to the EU, while at the same time trying to force Armenia to give up her sovereignty and join the so-called Union State with Russia and Belarus. The US ambassador to the OSCE, Michael Carpenter, called on Azerbaijan and Russia to restore access immediately. Similarly, most countries and supernatural bodies called for the unblocking of the road, but unfortunately, so far we only have words and no action has been taken on the international stage in this direction. As it stands, it doesn't look like Azerbaijan and Russia will open the road anytime soon. Armenians are now calling for an international airlift to deliver aid to the people of Artsakh. When a similar situation arose in the blockade of Berlin in 1948, the Western Allies organized the Berlin Airlift, flying over Berlin and dropping necessities such as fuel and food. A similar humanitarian initiative is the urgent intervention necessary now to save the last remaining ethnic population of Artsakh. It is appalling how much evil you can get away with in this world if you have oil. For the first time in recorded history, Several villages in Artsakh are completely devoid of Armenians, and every action carried out by Azerbaijan points in the direction of getting rid of the rest with blessings from Russia. And, as much as politicians like von der Leyen would like us to look away so she can keep buying cheap oil while virtue signaling about European values, now is the time to watch Artsakh closer than ever. There is no excuse. This is not a surprise attack that you blinked and you missed because you were busy with the news about a pandemic or US elections. This is an organized blockade of 120,000 Armenians orchestrated by genocidal dictators happening today as you watch this video. If the international community avoids sending humanitarian aid to Artsakh now, then the least we should do is watch these faces very closely because we are all responsible for what's about to happen to them.